Hello everyone. It is Friday night and Miss Kiva Lou is full of jumping beans. She cannot stay still tonight, but that's okay. Um, Kiva has nine puppies that she had um, early, early, early Wednesday morning, starting about 2 o'clock in the morning, 2.30. Um, she has four tricolors and five sables. There is one girl sable and one girl tricolor. Um, we do have one really small little puppy that I've been having to help along. Stay, stay. Okay, well just lick them all, get it out of your system. <laughs> one little small puppy that I've been having to supplement feed a little bit. Um, I had mentioned on one of the posts that she is struggling a little bit. Here she is. She's um, just a little bit smaller. She wasn't breathing well when she was born. And um, so I'm just trying to give her a little bit of extra love. Um, but she is getting pretty feisty. So I'm hoping, um, you know, usually if they can make it two days, they um, really kind of get past some of that risk area. But you can see she is, um, she is half of a pound. And... Um, <coughs> Uh, this big boy puppy here, he is one pound. So this big chubby wubby puppy is one pound. She's half a pound. Um, so anyway, we are, like I said, just taking some special care of her, um, keeping an eye on her. Always try to keep in mind that, you know, they're very, very fragile and delicate and, um, you know, just have to take it one day at a time when we have a little tiny one like that. So um, here you go. Let me clean her over here. So we have, um, like I said, lots of sweet little babies over here um, that we are going to be looking for potential new homes for in the next um, few weeks. Um, they are going to be unaffected for CEA, which is the Collie Eye, which is great. Um, and so we do test all of our mommies and daddy dogs before we do any kind of breeding program with them. Um, so it starts way in advance, like two years before um, we're even ready to have a litter of puppies. We are testing puppies that will be the future. So um, I do try to generally retire them about five years of age. So, you know, they um, dedicate a few years of their life to continuing on the breed. And then they get the rest of their long, happy life to be somebody's baby and be spoiled. So, um... So, Miss Kiva um, is four. She will be five next summer. So, she will probably just have maybe one more litter um, next year, and then that will be it. Um, that's not 100%, just kind of depending on timing and, and things like that. Um, we will make that decision um, next year, whether we're going to go ahead and retire her or, you know, what kind of what our schedule is for that. So. Um, Miss Kiva is a very social butterfly, as you can see. I quit petting her and she puts her paw on me like, um, excuse me, I wasn't done with that. Um, she is a very, very sweet girl, very, very sweet love bug. She is bred to Chance, who is our sable stud. Um, they are both tri-factored sable, which gives them, um, the possibility to have tricolor puppies. And, um, it's funny because... Our black stud produced no black puppies, and our sable stud did produce black puppies. So I'm gonna try to do just a very simple Punnett square to um, show you guys how that process works because I have lots of people asking. It's super basic, like Mendel's pea plants, seventh grade science. <laughs> um, it's one of those things that you learn and you think you'll never use, and then here you are, um, you know, talking about. Uh, genetics and, and color patterns and traits in puppies. So it does show back up. My uh, sister is a uh, middle school science teacher so she will be glad that I'm telling you that. <laughs> um, so anyway we do have tricolor puppies out of two sable dogs um, because they both have one sable gene and one black gene. Um, so I know I'm gonna keep petting you don't worry. So, the only girl, let's see, this is a boy right here. This is a tricolor male. I know. 
He's got a pretty little spot on his head. He's a big fat puppy. Giving his mommy some smoochies. This is a boy. Okay, I'm gonna put him over here for a minute, okay? She's like, why are you doing that? Um, of course, this is this little sable girl, the one that's just kind of struggling a little bit. We're keeping close tabs on her. She's good in pink. Much better uh, on her hydration lately. But just still a little small. So there's a sable girl right there. Okay, right here we have a tr another tricolor male. This one is smaller than the other one. He has a little bitty white stripe on his face and some long um, socks on the front. Sorry, he was trying to clean his booty. <laughs> his collar um, is not joined all the way around. This side is black, and then he has a big white um, collar on this side. So there he is. I know, I'm getting y'all all tore up. Um, like everybody else is latched on. Sorry, boop. <laughs> okay, so this is a sable boy. His collar does go all the way around, but it just gets super thin on one side. So it gets smaller right there, but it does go all the way around. And he does have a little white star on his head like his mommy. He's a trifactored sable, meaning he has one black jean and one sable jean. This is the golden sable puppy. This is the only golden sable that we've had out of both litters. Um, that means he has two sable genes, and you can see the difference in these two puppies. Um, so this puppy right here is very light and golden. This puppy here is a dark sable. It's because he has one black gene and one brown gene. Um, and so it's kind of that mix of coloring, but that brown sable gene is dominant. So it's the one that's expressed uh, as his primary color. So this <laughs> little chubsy wubsy, he weighs one pound, which cracks me up. It looks like he has a bowling ball for a belly. Um, his collar almost goes all the way around. It stops right there under his little ear and joins, but he does have a big white collar for the most part and white on his little head. And he is a cutie patootie. Like, I'm just in love with this little golden boy. I hear ya. All right. Hey, cheater, we already did you and you got back in line to nurse turkey um okay come here, come here okay this one is the girl so this is the uh, only other girl in this litter and the only tricolor girl she does have a full collar that goes all the way around a little white spot on her head and she has this cool little stripe that goes up the back of her head which i love and excuse me let's not be rude <laughs> she is a super cute little girl um very little pretty thing. Nice little fat belly. So there she is. Piling up in my lap since Kiva Lee is going to run around all over the place. And let's see. There's Chubby Wubby. There's this one. There's this one. Kiva. Okay. Time back in. I had to pause. Like Kiva lay down again once I, like I said, she has had jumping beans today apparently because she's been wiggly. I guess she's finally feeling better. A couple days postpartum, you start to feel good again, don't you? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. All right, so this, I know, I'm not done petting you. I'm still in here, jumping bean. I'm going to put my foot on top of you and hold you down. <laughs> she's like, what? Um, this baby is a male tricolor. He has a very big white spot on his head. His collar is kind of the opposite of the other. It's um, His tricolor comes all the way up under his ear. It joins just in a very little small spot there. And he has a big white collar all the way around the other side. He is a big chunky monkey, healthy boy. And there he is. They're all going to sleep down here. This one is a male. He has a dark face, which I really like. And he has that same little stripe going up the back of his head. He does have a full collar. And he has long sable um, sleeves, which I really like as well. I think that's very um, charming and flashy. It makes for pretty contrast on that white collar. So, and he's a sweet, healthy boy. He's not quite as fat as some of the others, but he is still plenty chubsy. And then finally, this sable boy, he has a white stripe on his face like his mommy. His collar does go, can you wait to clean him for just a second? She's like, you're holding him. It's perfect timing. Um, his collar does go all the way around, um, but it's just very thin on this side. Once again, um, they seem to have that standard pattern, this litter. 
Um, he, again, he's trifactored sable. He has a white nose like his mommy, which I think is super cute. And he's got some big white socks on the front. Um, this side, his white goes all the way down and covers his entire front leg, which is pretty neat. And um, he is actually a white factored puppy. So um, you can see the white on his back legs goes all the way up past his knees. That's a, an easy indicator to see when a puppy is white factored. Okay, so that is all of Kiva's babies. There's the little tiny girl. So I'm going to get them back over here and get them lined up to nurse. And then I will do another um, video with Lassie's puppies so you can see all of them. There they go, sweet girl. A big old lion. You're like a big old lion. Gee, now look at my nose. Look at my big nose. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, application. I know. I love you too. I'm not leaving yet. Give me your paw. I know. You can't get in my lap, jumping bean. Gotta stay still. Okay, watch her. When I stop petting her. I, I know. I know. She's like, um, I'm not done with you. Kiva is an attention hawk. Okay, so applications on our website, libertycollies.com. Um, you can get on there and apply if you're interested in puppies. Um, we do have one more litter that I'm fixing to show you. They are all sables. This is the only litter that has uh, tricolors in it that we have right now. Um, and so, and I don't know for sure when we will have another litter with tricolors. Um, it might be soon, it might not. We'll just have to see what we get. Um, but yeah, they're doing good, um, sweet little babies. Kiva, you cannot lay in my lap every time I come down and I make a video. Kiva, where? Okay. Well, somebody is an attention hog tonight. So, anywho. I'm going to get Miss Kiva some supper and get her settled in. See if we can get rid of her jumping beans and see if she will um, lay down and be a little more cooperative. <laughs> You're a knucklehead. And uh, the next video up will be of Lassie's babies. Say bye.